Does it ever feel like no matter what you do, making friends or finding love seems like a never-ending struggle? Almost as if you're hitting a brick wall over and over again, you put in the effort, yet something just doesn't seem to click, and people start to drift away. Now, before you get too down on yourself, it's possible there are a few habits or tendencies you're not fully aware of that might be pushing people away. Habits you could easily change. Today, we'll dive into some behaviors that might be standing in the way of you forming meaningful friendships or romantic connections. And if any of these resonate with you, please know this isn't about pointing fingers or shaming. Instead, it's about raising awareness so you can start making changes for the better. So let's jump right in. Number one, pseudo-humility. Let's start with pseudo-humility. Have you ever made a joke at your own expense to seem relatable or self-aware? At first glance, self-deprecating humor can be refreshing. It shows you don't take yourself too seriously, right? But here's the catch. Sometimes, people use this tactic not just for humor, but to fish for compliments. For example, you might say something like, Oh, my drawing is so bad it could scare a kid away. But deep down, you're actually proud of it. At first, people around you might respond with, What? That's amazing! But after a while, this pattern can become tiresome. Authentic humility is a beautiful, endearing quality, but pretending to be humble just to get validation can make you come off as needy or even narcissistic. People with pseudo-humility tend to deflect compliments without being open to real criticism, which can make them hard to be around. Remember, people love honesty and vulnerability, but no one likes feeling manipulated. Number two, being too agreeable. Now, let's talk about being too agreeable. Yes, it's great to be accommodating and easygoing, but people-pleasing can be incredibly destructive, not just to your relationships, but to your own mental health. At some point, you'll realize it's impossible to make everyone happy. You might find yourself in situations where you're being pulled in two directions or being asked to do something that goes against your own beliefs. When you always go along with what others want, people may begin to see you as someone without personal agency. Eventually, they'll be disappointed, not because you let them down, but because they never got to see the real you. Plus, constantly running around trying to please everyone can become frustrating for them too. True support doesn't come from always saying yes. Sometimes the most genuine help comes from being honest, even if that means disagreeing. Number three, being too eager to fit in. Have you ever noticed how some people will adopt trends or follow certain lifestyles just to fit in? Maybe you've done it too. It's natural. We all want to belong, right? But there's a difference between fitting in and losing yourself in the process. If you abandon your own thoughts, beliefs, or ambitions just to align with a certain social circle, you risk losing your individuality. Think about it this way. Would you rather be a unique, handmade pot with its own imperfections and charm, or a flawless factory-made product that looks just like every other one? Sure, the handmade pot has cracks, but those imperfections make it stand out. The same goes for you. Trying too hard to be edgy or different can backfire, but losing yourself just to blend in won't make you happy either. It's all about balance. Be true to yourself and let that shine through in your relationships. Number four, I'm not like other guys or girls. Let's be real, everyone has unique traits and it's important to embrace them. But sometimes people go too far in trying to stand out and it can come off as boastful. For instance, someone might say they love reading books, which is great, but if they start using that hobby as a way to insinuate they're smarter or better than others, it quickly turns people off. No one likes someone who constantly tries to elevate themselves above others. It's one thing to have hobbies that define your individuality it's another to use those hobbies as a way to compare yourself to others. Remember, confidence is attractive, but arrogance is not. Celebrate what makes you unique, but don't use it to make others feel inferior. Number five, the they'll only like me if I'm perfect mindset. Wouldn't it be great to glide through life without a single hiccup, to always be flawless? Unfortunately, Many of us fall into the trap of thinking we need to be perfect to be loved or appreciated. We believe we won't be attractive unless we've reached some unrealistic standard, whether that's having the perfect job, body, or lifestyle. But here's the truth. 
perfection is an illusion. Trying to be perfect can actually hold you back from forming real connections because it's exhausting and, quite frankly, unattainable. Studies show that perfectionism can lead to arrogance, social awkwardness, and a whole host of other problems. The reality is, your version of perfection is likely to change over time anyway. So why not appreciate yourself as you are right now and let growth happen naturally? Number six, the zero-sum game mindset. Lastly, let's talk about the zero-sum game mindset. Do you feel like you're in competition with your friends? Maybe they're getting married, buying houses, or climbing the career ladder while you feel stuck. It's easy to think of life as a race, but the truth is, there's no winner or loser. When you view life this way, it can seriously impact your ability to build genuine relationships. Constantly comparing yourself to others makes it harder to foster sincere connections. If you're always focused on who's ahead and who's behind, you're missing out on celebrating your own successes and supporting those around you. Instead, try to shift your mindset. Celebrate your friends' victories without feeling like it's a reflection of your own progress. Research shows that virtues like kindness and loyalty are just as attractive, if not more so, than physical looks or external success. So, if any of these behaviors sound familiar, don't worry. You're not alone. We all have areas we can improve on, and the first step is becoming aware of them. Do you see yourself or someone you know in these behaviors? Let us know in the comments below, and if you found this video helpful, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.